I'm Tron Dunheim. I've been uh, leading the STEX effort on behalf of, of the uh, Industrial Liaison Program. Let me just take you through uh, the, the reason why we are here. So, as Carl said, uh, all of these workshops t uh, pick a topical area. And uh, I think that it's sort of beyond discussion among the people in this room that uh, mobility is a very interesting and uh, indeed uh, fast moving topic. So, what we are trying to cover today is basically what is happening in terms of mobility at MIT and beyond. What trends are we seeing uh, in the marketplace? What startups are there? Uh, what is the response and what is the innovation uh, in industry uh, in this topic? And the, I think the idea is that uh, we are moving towards a more intelligent uh, approach to mobility. And we are certainly seeing a lot of startup activity in mobility. In fact, um, we have about 20, oh, sorry, 21 startups that are directly working on mobility. But as you know, it's very hard to classify any kind of startup activity. So depending on how you make a, make a cut, I'm sure that a lot more of you are actually deeply engaged in the topic. In fact, if you use the search word mobile, which of course then picks up uh, a lot of the IT startups and mobile apps and all that stuff, <clears throat> the number is much, much larger. But I think that's part of the discussion today to figure out a little bit how these things are starting to intersect much more closely. So I, I, th I think that's I indeed what's happening now is that there's a uh, kind of a morphing of all these technologies together and, and that they're, they're kind of morphing together in ways uh, that are starting to create really, really interesting applications. We will be discussing some of those today. Uh, the biggest hype obviously is around driverless cars, but I think uh, there's a, a lot of in-betweens uh, and being at MIT I think we're going to try to make some sense of that, try to figure out where the real things are happening, what the time frames are, what the challenges are, and, and you know, where the real, real advances are actually happening. Other than that, we uh, have over a thousand of you, over a thousand innovators on campus and you know, who used to be on campus, so some uh, alums as well in this sample, that are doing innovative things. In fact, a lot of them using ICT uh, or information technology as the main platform but over and beyond that in biotech and healthcare, um, but also in manufacturing um, and energy technology. And we have two more, hybrid innovation and uh, nanotech that I wanted to highlight today. These are areas where there's tremendous amounts of innovation going on uh, out of an MIT connected uh, startup platform. How does the startup exchange work? You may know this, but the, the Industrial Liaison Program is uh, the oldest and most successful corporate relations program in the nation and arguably internationally as well. Um, we have a, a, a good bunch of industry liaison officers that already work with industry. What we have added with the Startup Exchange platform is that their remit uh, has expanded to also facilitate introductions to startups, whether they are founded by MIT faculty or indeed by, by alums or, or staff. Uh, here at MIT. So what you'll see is a core program uh, of, of a core staff that works directly with Startup Exchange, but then there's these 28 officers that already have industry portfolios and they are now working very actively to connect MIT startups. What we're essentially trying to do is create an unfair competitive advantage, but in a legal way, you know, for MIT. <laughs> so I think that's pretty transparent. Um, we had 83 new startups in 2015. <clears throat> Largely, if you just wanted to take a very quick temperature on those, they were in the areas of manufacturing, big data, and health. Now, that does cut across a lot of, uh, and it omits a lot of the 83, but if you just wanted a one minute pitch, that's where the big innovation was happening. If you want to read more about this, we have a startup report on, out on the table that documents some of this activity, lists all of these 83, so that should be interesting reading. We have, throughout the last year and a half, worked with over 30 corporate partners. These are large companies, enterprises, that are very actively seeking innovation from the outside. And they have come to us and said that they're interested in MIT startup activity. And we have indeed sourced startups for them, somewhere between 5 and 20 startups per, per company. And they are actively engaged in these uh, interactions right now. It's a little bit early days for me to come out with all of these fantastic uh, results because as you know interacting with a large company takes a while 
So uh, I'm hoping that you know maybe a year from now we'll, we'll come back and have some tremendous results from all of these interactions. But it is of course um, possible that uh, you know these results could come earlier. But I will say this: with with this amount of activity, um, we are very hopeful. This is the way we work <coughs> uh, with a large company. We uh, let them basically post a very very specific opportunity and then uh, startups can respond to that. That's our main mode of engagement. So these workshops just fall into basically, uh, you know, the purpose is not just to gather you all together, it is to try to foster some of these deeper interactions between the startups and our member companies. Specifically, what do we have coming up on the agenda? We have a showcase in San Diego on the 28th of June. It's gonna be on robotics and automation. We have a healthcare conference in the fall that will have a major startup component. And then we have uh, an aerospace innovation event in September. It's going to document a tremendous amount of innovation going on in that field right now. So, you know, I said that we had some 20 odd mobility startups, but we have excluded some of those that are working basically in the air. So, so drones and, uh, you know, plane innovation and even uh, space flight, all of those things you will be seeing much more of. In September. Lastly, I guess uh, let me stop uh, uh, on our last, you know, full year event, the MIT Startup Ecosystem Conference, which will be a chance for us to display the wide variety of MIT startup innovation. It'll, it'll uh, be our biggest conference in the Media Lab, uh, and should be a fantastic display of everything that is going on. So, if you are a startup, get on that agenda. <coughs>